going on guys so what you see on screen is one of the smgs in modern warfare 2 that doesn't get enough appreciation or love and that is the vel 46. i don't see a lot of people talking about it using it and it's genuinely so upsetting because this thing is an absolute beast and if you don't believe me i got two gameplays for you all it's the only two gameplays of the vel 46 that you need to see that will convince you to throw this on the next time you get on MW2. That's all I gotta say. I ain't even gonna tell you what happened in the gameplays. You just gotta see that for yourselves. But before we get into today's spectacular gameplay, a few things, one of which, I want you guys to comment down below one weapon that you think is very underappreciated, kind of fell under the radar that not a lot of people like, but you love. And make sure you guys are subscribed with all those notifications on so you don't miss out on future content and do me a solid. Click that thumbs up button. Take a second of your guys' time, and it really helps push the video, give us more exposure. We definitely need it, all right? And without further ado, man, the Vel 46, let me show you why you are sleeping on this thing right now. Sit on me. All right, it's been quite some time since I've rocked the Vel. I actually was looking around my channel to see the last time I used this weapon. And last time I used this was around the mid-season update of last season so season three mid-season update is the last time i use this thing decided to throw it back on it's been a minute i updated my setup a tad bit here and i kind of missed the vibes of the mp7 i ain't gonna lie it's such a slept on smg especially after the release of the iso 45 i mean that thing is just a gem to say the very least now uh, a few videos ago i did ask you guys for some feedback on oh my god Okay, they're all gone. That triple nade just saved my life. I would damn. Shout out to my teammate for that. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna ask you guys for some feedback on what you would like to see me do and all that type of good stuff. And I actually got some dude, some of the advice y'all gave me, I would have thought y'all are the YouTubers. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all had some very in, like very good information for me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm really Ugh, walk into a dumbass nade. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I would have thought y'all the YouTube gurus. I ain't gonna lie. I thought y'all went to YouTube University for a second there. So, yeah, I was reading the comments and I, I genuinely, man, I really appreciate it. I feel like I can ask y'all. Y'all are just like Google. Like, oh, shoot. I was playing Vondel the other day. It was a horrible experience and that's what I have on. Okay, I got tapped to reload on. I was wondering why. My reload was so delayed. It's because I had to hold it to reload. But you guys gave me some really good feedback, bro. Someone commented below and literally said Frizz. This is like the third time you've used the ISO. This game's boring, huh? Bruh, it was the second time, by the way, and you're right. The game is in a rough spot. That's why I'm like recovering the same weapons. Hey, I try to do anything creative on this channel. It is, it's just not gonna work. Like, it, no one watches any of the creative videos. And it's just because the game's in a rough spot, so. I'm just making videos on things people are searching up right now. It seems to be doing the job for now, but. Trust me, man, when the game's fire, I, I'm able to be a lot more creative and do fun things and people will actually sit here and watch it, you know? For the meantime, I'm just rocking with what works. So I don't know, I just wanted to address that because I feel like a lot of you guys gave me such good information. It was so nice to hear. Holy sh... Okay, hold on, I'm on a good streak right now. I gotta stay alive. Nice. This Val 46 is on. I don't... I, I need y'all to wake up. Like, the, the Vel's not a bad weapon. I know the, the ISO's kind of taken over right now, but it doesn't mean you sleep on the Vel 46. Nice. Oh my god, MGB. The, the, the advance is still up. The medals are saying I'm at a 25 on the top right that you can't even see. Yeah, man, Aldo Cod is in such a bad spot, and we've talked about it numerous times. I, like, genuinely, I appreciate those of you who still stick around. Um, I know a lot of my videos are kind of class setup orientated, and some people just try to take the setup and dip, but for those of you who kind of stick around to watch the gameplay, you're not only helping yourselves because you're learning how to use these builds that I'm making here, like the specific way you want to use them, but we're having a great one-on-one -on -one conversation, man, and that's what I love so much, is I'm able to kind of interact with you guys a little bit more, ask questions to get to know you better, you know what I mean? I can learn what you guys are up to, what other games you guys are playing, that's why I always ask uh, questions in my, uh, I always leave a, some text on the screen asking a question, man. And I really be going through the comments. I like it hard, almost half, more than half the comments, every single video. Although, oh shoot. 
Although I don't spend a lot of time on the game, I kind of get my content and play other games. Um, I spend a lot of time. Uh, I spend a lot of time reading the comments and and seeing what you guys have to say, man. I, it's really important to me. It's so nice knowing that a lot of you guys play some of the similar games I do or have some of the same similar interests. I talk about WWE once in a while. I love watching wrestling. Like some of you guys share that in interest. Um, I play Destiny. I've, I've had a lot of people DM me asking me about Destiny here and there, which has been cool. It's just nice, man. Just because I make the videos and I'm on the big screen, that don't mean nothing. At the end of the day, we're all still the same people. I, I share the same interests you guys do. Holy cow. This is looking crazy. It's just crazy to me to think, though, that, like, we're in, what, the middle? We're basically in July. Bro. No. That nade did not, I wasn't even, bro, that nade wasn't even near me. Are you kidding? We're basically in July and we usually get a beta for the next Call of Duty game in late August or early September. And dude, it's, we're literally like a month and a half away from playing the next Call of Duty already. It's just crazy how fast time flies. And it feels like we didn't even really have that much of a year this year. Like, it's just like, it's already over. Like we're already in the next Call of Duty season. That's all people care about. It's already rumored to be MW3, and I'm ready for it, man. Um, I hope the game is a lot more enjoyable and plays better than whatever the hell we have now. All right, I got ammo on. We're looking good. Let's grab some ammo real quick. Cool. We should be able to get another nuke. And, dude, it's crazy how time flies. I'm really hoping that the next game's better. I hope a lot more of you guys enjoy it. Same with myself. Oh my God, they lined up. Line them up, line them up. We're about to get another nuke already. Nothing. No, no. Bro, we're choking. Oh my God, we could have easily had another nuke by now. I'm just choking it. Nice. Oh my God, hold on, we're looking good. Okay. I do not want to die to that. Okay. Flash, it's all good. Another nade. I don't think that's on my side. We're good, we're good. Okay. Let's keep this up. We're looking really good. These guys are so trapped. They don't even know what to... No! I don't even see homie on my... It's all good. We got a VTOL up. 124 kills. We got an advance. I know where everyone's at again. Put that over there. Holy. Dude, when you're spawn trapping the heck out of them like this, they don't even know what to do. That's what's so nice about... Let me lock in. Let me lock it on this game a little bit more. Hold on, hold on. We're we're going off. This could be something really good. Nice. This guy's on the right. This advanced UAV is so helpful. Nice. No way. I'm gonna die here. And cannon vibes. Gotta love it. No, behind me. No one got him. 137 kills. We got one nuke with some of the craziest feeds ever. Nice. We're just laying down. We're, this game's over. I don't have time to do anything. Oh my God. I don't think I ended up getting another nuke, but the possibility was there endlessly. Oh, I gotta call my nuke in. I, I think I missed it. Oh, never mind. They, they took C. We're good. We're good. We got actually got it up in time. Boom. 148 kills. I mean, dude, this, this match is just going on forever. It, this was good. I, oh my God. Oh. Oh my God, the feeds, the feeds. I didn't get another dude. Oh my God. We are on a 15 at the blink of a 156 kills. That was such a fat, that was incredible. I ain't gonna lie, that last game. Oh my God, three down the middle. Thank you, freebies. All right, we're looking good. Damn, everyone's just kind of coming at me by surprise. That last game, we actually ended up only dying. Oh my God, a crossbow, please don't even start with that. We only had nine deaths. Oh shoot, does he have a shotgun? I think so, I gotta be careful. This guy up here. Oh, this is gonna be weird. I, oh, I know I have the wrong gun out. Yeah, I only had nine deaths, that, that was literally it. I felt like I had a lot more, maybe like 15, but dude, 156 to nine. You can't make that stuff up, bro. It's crazy. 
Things like that used to be so hard to do back in the day, but now they make Call of Duties that are just super easy to play now. And I mean, the TTK is just cracked out, the skill gap's low, and you could just do that. Like, people you don't even know, bro. People who don't even make content are able to do things like that nowadays. It's just insane to me. Before, though, I mean, dude, that would have the whole world talking, man. I told you guys, I got your boy going was when... Oh, she's a shotgun. What really got people going on, on YouTube and just kind of making content is just how cracked out and insane the gameplay would be. But nowadays, that doesn't even matter anymore, which it's kind of sad because I really like that. I love when that used to be a thing. It's like, oh my God, that guy's so... Oh, he's underneath me. That guy's so talented at the game, dog. Like that. In the corner. Oh, grenade. I gotta call my advance. And, oh, he's right there, right there. Right in front of me, I see him. Holy cow, things are getting spicy. Things are getting spicy. Nice. I see he's above me. Okay, I thought he was in front of me. All right, we're looking good. I'm just gonna hold on. Let me let me lock in. We got the advance up. I know where everyone's at, but I gotta figure out what decisions I want to make and I, oh, the ones I don't want to make. You guys see things like that? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Throw that over there. Nice. I got one nade kill there. He's laying down. Nice little spawn trap. Oh, I got it, dude. You know what happens when the games get... When the nuke gets closer, the deaths get weirder. He's right in the back of that. I don't even want to challenge it. All right, all right. Let's throw some ammo down real quick. We can take a chill pill. We don't need to push nothing crazy. Well, you know, let's call this in. Surprise them with that. Oh, I didn't even get to call it in yet. You know what? I'll hold on to it, actually. That's a blessing in, in disguise. Maybe we... There's the MGB. Okay. We got our nuke. Should I try to say flawless here, Loki? My God, he just beat his ass. Okay, okay. Well, let's call him the VTOL. Try to stay alive here, maybe. Nice. Let me get inside real quick. I don't want to die. There's another guy there. Okay, let me stay alive. Hold on. All right, you know what? Let's try to stay flawless. If you guys saw my ISO 45 video, we we went 102 and one, and it was on this map. I'm not saying it's gonna happen again, but I could definitely. I know I could do a high KD game here. This MP7 setup is that good. Where I'm very confident in it. I could use this at any range. It's accurate. It hits hard. It doesn't matter what I do. I, dude, I just really wish you could earn streaks again in one life. That's one thing the next Call of Duty game has to have. I know we were talking about a little bit earlier uh, in the first gameplay about, you know, it's it's new COD season. If there's one thing I could ask for for the next COD, it would be for us to be able to loop our streaks. Similar to how Cold War had it. I know there was a cooldown. It's not really how it used to be, but it's better than nothing. At least I'm able to earn my my streaks in the same life again. I really, really miss that. It's just something you can't do nowadays, and I miss it. Okay, there's no one in that corner. Nice. All right, we're looking good. Oh, my God. My my, my game shook. He was so close to killing me with that. Or my, my VTOL almost took me out. I'll stay alive. Nice, okay. Underneath right there. Oh, dude, some, I had a feeling there was someone over there. No. Okay, uh, we have a 40 KD. I don't even wanna check. Okay, well, we have a 40 KD. Okay, we still have a high KD. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's all I want to do is maintain the high KD. If we can get another like 20 kills maybe, that'd be kind of sick. I can just go for another nuke actually. Got him. Okay. All right, all right, let's do this. All right, let me walk you guys through this next streak that we go on. So I need to learn from the way I died. I literally died because I like just wasn't paying attention. So I gotta be a little bit more aware of what's going on on the map. Checking corners, checking weird spots. Let's do that. All right, he's on my left. Yep. Another one on the left. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get out of there, okay. I see a kill streak. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if that's a... I don't know if that's like a recon drone or... Okay. Let's just flank around. I'm gonna stay away from the objective. These guys are playing mad objective. We're losing by a little bit. Okay, we're hurt, we're hurt, we're hurt. We gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run, we're hurt. Went up top again, I heard him. Sit down, call the UAV in. All right, let's play for this advanced UAV real quick. Nice. That guy's not really using that recon drone all that well. Now they're underneath me right here. I can just kind of peek it. They're gonna go through mid. Yeah, they're just trying to get to the... They're trying to get to the next point. 
UAV, I see where he's at. No, no, what happened here? What went wrong? What went wrong here? Oh my God, his aim assist just aimbotted me instead of the, me and my teammate both challenged at the same time. I could still go on another streak. It just won't be a high KD game. It's all good. We got a lot of game time left. Maybe I'll just try to go on another nuke streak. Maybe we could try to make up and get, get that nuke still. All right, let's just do what we did last time. Let's pay attention. Someone threw a stun. Yeah. Died to fire. I literally won the gunfight. Things are getting shaky, bro. Okay, let me just try to get to 100 kills because we got a lot of game time left. Let me just get my streaks again. Damn, bro. It's just... Obviously, not everything can go my way, so... That seems to be what the problem is. All right, we already tapped the hard point. We're in the lead by a little bit. They're all going to start rushing the hard point. I probably don't need to rush as much because these guys are just going to go straight for the objective. They obviously want to win. You always need to pay attention and figure out what the enemy's objective is. Sometimes you're just running around like idiots. You, you just got to be cautious. But other times, when they're just going for the objective, you can literally play the objective by defending it. And that's something I find myself doing all the time. That's how I get so many kills. Two of myself, a lot of them. Stun them all. Nice. Nice. Get the hard point. Get the points for it and run away. Now I'm just going to play defense on it. I took the kills. I got the UAV up. Play defense on the objective. I don't really necessarily need to play the objective. I'm just going to watch it. I'm going to defend the thing, even if no one's on it. See? Look at They're just coming for it. That's all they want. They're trying to win. That's how the game's so close. Nice, we got the one a dead from across the map. Okay, now I'm in like a very good spot where I shouldn't really die. I'm in the spot where I can kind of just guard this objective with my life. We're losing now. I'm going to try to get them killed off of it. So the rest of them come over here maybe. Here we go. Okay. About to get my advance here in a sec. If I can get that, we're going to be in the money. Let's get the let's get the VTOL up. They'll give me a quick ping right in front of me. Where'd he go? Nice, lay down, call the advanced in. Okay, we're alive, we're looking good. One's on the, oh, these guys are everywhere. No way, I, there's, bro. There's, no, 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 that did not, bro. See, now they're starting to play weird. I'm out here getting RPG'd across the map, bro, what? No way, you guys are weird. I'm alive. He has to reload, right? Thank you, idiot. No, this game's against me. This game is, bro. Do you guys see the deaths I'm getting now? Make these make sense. No shot. There's no way of me explaining what's going on now. What? He just threw a perfect throwing knife for no reason. Oh, he's above me. An RPG again, get the hell out of here with that. Let's throw a nade up top maybe. Is he gonna come down the stairs? Or we got a bloodthirsty? Okay. We're looking good. We're looking good. We're good. We're good. We gotta not lose full in the corner. Check your corners, bro. When people are playing weird, you gotta start checking the weird spots. Alright, we're looking good. Throw some ammo down. We're probably gonna get a VTOL. And then once I get that advance, I think we're really gonna be chilling because it's gonna tell me exactly where these weirdos are. These guys got ghost on too now. Three, okay, three done. Make that four. The objective's over here. I'm in a good spot. Oh, I don't even need to do anything, dude. These guys are just getting pummeled now. Okay. Let's call in the VTOL. They have something to worry about. That guy with the grenade or the rocket launcher could just shoot shoot at this thing if he really wanted to. Let's call in the advanced UAV. And just like that, we're big chilling. I'm just going to play the objective now. They're all going to come for it because that's all they've been trying to do is just... Yeah, yeah, there we go. We got them figured out. Go up top, he's just gonna run across like an idiot. Yeah, see, they just want the objective now. They're starting to fold under pressure. They can't hang. Okay. He's in front of me. Right. Yeah, there he is. They're up top, I believe. Throw, throw that up there. Okay. Now I'm just starting to branch out away from the objective because I feel like they're catching on to me playing it. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna catch them off guard. I'm catching them off on every spot now well, yeah, focus on the kill streak above nice. okay. we're on a very good streak this is looking good as long as this advanced uv doesn't burn out right away we're good i'm just gonna cross over they're all spawning over here anyways there we go we got a good position they're not paying attention to that 
Those guys over there are shooting my, my streak down. I'm gonna go try to get them real quick. No, I didn't call my nuke in. And, oh, I was too locked into what's going on. We did end up with another 100 kill game in a nuke though. Dude, I ended up 101 and five. What is it, like a 20 KD or something? Just back-to-back -back banger games. People genuinely sit zero chance with this MP7. Now that you guys just witnessed two dominant gameplays with the Vel46, here is the best Vel46 class setup in Modern Warfare 2 that you should use next time you get on. So starting off, we have on the overpressured ammunition. This is something I've been using quite a bit of. Uh, if you've watched my most recent videos, this increases your flinch. So basically, whenever you're firing your weapon and you're landing those shots on enemies, their flinch gets increased. It's unbelievable. It just makes it basically impossible for them to kind of bounce back after you fire at them. There's nothing they could do. This makes the weapons just so much stronger than they already are. Next, we have my personal favorite underbarrel for any SMG in Modern Warfare 2, the Merc 4 grip. You just get a huge increase in accuracy and recoil control. This just helps you land a lot more of your shots. And you saw, I had no problem taking on some long range gunfights uh, with this weapon. And I gotta kind of give a lot of credit to my underbarrel because it helps out in, in such a major way. Next, we have on the AVR T90 comp muzzle. It's something a little different, but definitely necessity because when I had this muzzle with our Merc 4 grip underbarrel, genuinely zero recoil you saw it in the gameplays i mean my weapon was just not moving it's because of this muzzle and my under barrel uh this just gives me a massive increase in recoil control horizontally and vertically for my next attachment we have the tango 228 barrel we get damage range and bullet velocity this is what makes the vel 46 kill quicker and make the weapon a lot more effective at longer range gunfights and then my final attachment was something for my mobility because I didn't really have a lot of attachments catered towards that. So you throw in the demo RXT and now you have something for mobility. We get sprint speed, so we're overall just a lot lighter on our feet. And we get ADS speed, so we can be a lot more quick and snappy with our shots. Now for the tuning, starting with the ammunition, I did recoil smoothness in bullet velocity. And this is gonna make my weapon shoot a little bit more quickly while maintaining the accuracy of the VEL46. So best of both worlds, power and accuracy. The tuning on the underbarrel, I did hip recoil control and then ADS speed. I usually tune for hip walking speed, but I'm like, you know what? I have a feeling I might hip fire with this thing, so that's why I did that. And the bottom slider, ADS speed is king, man. You really, really want to aim down sights as fast as you possibly can. It's so, so important in this game. Moving on for the muzzle tuning, I did recoil stabilization and recoil control. So just fully dedicating this attachment to just accuracy and recoil control. Just make the weapon land as many shots as it possibly can. I don't want to worry about any type of bounce on my Vel 46. The tuning on the barrel, I did aim walking speed and ADS speed. So a little something different. I felt like my muzzle and under barrel did more than good enough job of keeping the accuracy and recoil control that it has. And that allowed me to tune my barrel for whatever I wanted to do. And I decided to do mobility. And then the tuning on the stock, I did uh, aim walking steadiness and aim walking speed, which beautiful combination, man. When I'm aiming and walking, I'm going to be more accurate and I'm going to be quicker. So it's going to be a lot harder for the enemy to land shots on me. Well, it's easier for me to land shots on enemies. And then here's the rest of the loadout if you guys are interested in that. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down below. Secret meta, because people are sleeping on the Vel 46. All right, the only people commenting that are those of you who made it to the end of the video. I'll be liking hearting your guys' comments. And I'll see you in the next upload. Only if you guys are subscribed with all those notifications on. All right, you guys all stay safe. Have a great day. And I'm out. Peace.